the prairie states were sparsely populated until the early 1900s. Early explorers looked at the treeless, relatively dry plains and decided that it was not suitable for agriculture. However, by the early 1900s, many settlers began farming the area. Modern farming methods allowed them to plant crops successfully. Tractors, plows, tilled thousands of acres of prairie grass. The prairie grass that was retaining moisture and its roots was holding the soil in its place. Farmers were successful with these methods until 1930. Several years of low levels of rain, called droughts, caused the soil to dry up and become loose like dust. Poor farming methods, including overgrazing, plowing too deep, and no crop rotations made the situation even worse. Without the prairie grass and moisture in the soil, the dust-like topsoil was carried away easily by wind. This created huge dust clouds. These clouds were so large, some people called them black blizzards. Dark clouds reached miles into the sky. These storms would travel miles and miles away. Some traveled as far as Washington, D.C. This became a vicious cycle. Once the prairie grass was destroyed, the topsoil became dry and blew away. Without the topsoil, new grass would not grow, so more soil would dry out and blow away. By 1934, 100 million acres of farmland had lost almost all of its topsoil. The dust storms caused dirt to get into houses, no matter how hard the family tried to prevent it. Dirt would get into engines, causing mechanical problems, preventing that cars and trucks from running. Breathing in the dust made people sick with dust pneumonia. Children were especially at risk. Without topsoil, farms could not produce crops. People starved. Over 2.5 million people gave up and left. Unfortunately, there were few jobs available anywhere due to the Great Depression. By the mid-1930s, government programs were developed to teach soil conservation and new farming methods. Farmers were paid bonuses if they used farming methods such as no-till farming, crop rotation, contour plowing, and terracing. Over 200 million trees were planted to help anchor the soil and block the strong winds. It would be many years before the soil would fully recover. Could something like this happen again? Here's a newscast from Arizona, 2014. This will give you an idea of what the Dust Bowl might have been like, although on a much smaller scale. East to West. Sky Fox capturing this massive dust cloud rolling through downtown Phoenix. Buildings disappearing. The tallest building downtown, dwarfed by a mile-high wall of dust. All of downtown blanketed in a matter of minutes. Yeah, in a word, it's wicked. Look at Chase Field being swallowed up tonight. And right across the street, U.S. Airways Center. It's just eerie has it, how it just floats yeah. over it like fog. And this looks like the valley's on fire. It kind of looks like a wildfire it burning does. down there. But that's really just the dust glowing in the city lights. An impressive sight out there. This picture was taken, but this Southwest Airlines jet flew right through the dust wall, emerging on the other side, getting out of town just in time and you gotta Look think at the, the size of that you gotta think the passengers on board were thinking this is so cool and i have never been so scared in my life yeah, right. <laughs>